Hello welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video we will be programming the robot that we built in the last video of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 guide and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So if you haven't checked out the other videos of this series make sure to do so and I did make a small modification to the design of this robot. I basically added another axle. Uh, you can already see it and that basically makes sure that when we're grabbing objects then the object can escape and we just need to run a test on the media motor to make sure it works completely so let's say we turn motor out anti-clockwise for 0.25 and then clockwise for 0.25 there we go perfect that's exactly what I want and the knob wheels make sure that's an up and down mechanism instead of a rotary motion and we're going to use that to uh, take the blue lego brick so what we need to do is we need to make the robot move forward and that is quite easy to do we just need to broadcast a message so we're going to broadcast message one when i receive message one it's just basically the exact same thing we've been doing with the old robot so we're going to duplicate and then i'm just going to change this to 0.3 and 0.3 might be a bit too much or too little but we just need to adjust and then after that we want to basically move a uh, down and then we are going to make it move backwards and moving backwards I'm going to make another message for that <laughs> so backward message and then when I receive backward then we just need to add the exact same blocks but we're going to move it anti-clockwise so I'll see you when I finish that so this is the code uh, we should have and I'm going to press the green flag. There we go. And that was very very fast. We can obviously add a bit more delay. So I'm just going to reset the brick. Right here we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And let's just see if we can move the brick a bit further away. So I basically adjusted the program so it's now 0 0.7 seconds for the forward and backward. exactly what we want that is perfect and that is basically how you sweep the lego objects and we can also make the robot turn as well and the object will move with it so this robot can also be used to pull drawers so this program basically it will move forward it's going to lower its attachment and then it's going to move backwards and uh, with the drawer and then it's going to lift again so we will see this in action there we go perfect and you can actually just put stuff in the drawer and then it will just pull that out instead of having to sweep objects you can just pull a whole drawer of objects so lots of possibilities with this robot i just want to show you a few more things that you can do with it so this robot can also be used to lift objects so as you can see i've sort of designed the mechanism over there that this robot is basically going to lift that white thing off its holder so we're going to see what happens when i press the green flag there we go, as you can see that is just a simple lift mechanism because the knob wheels already create an up and down lifting mechanism anyway and uh, the program here is very simple, all I did was just adjust the motor powers so it could easily just lift that object without breaking the thing it's on and now we can put all our skills that we've learned today into one big obstacle course so as you can see below I've created a small obstacle course so basically the robot will basically grab all the bricks and bring it back uh, to uh, the starting line which has been marked by lego bricks so it has to bring them back behind it however for the white one it is an exception because once it grabs the white one it has to put it into the zone marked uh, as you can see right beside that container there's a zone and it has to deposit that into the zone and then when it's finished it will simply just pull the drawer and there's something inside the drawer which you cannot see until the robot has finished so I've basically done the first bit of code that will basically just take the yellow lego brick and bring it back so let's see it in action perfect that is exactly what we want and basically how this script works is there's actually a variable and in here we've got the forward and backward scripts it will actually move forward for the variable uh, so instead of actually keep broadcasting new messages for different durations I can just use a variable to control the duration and there is also a weight block 
and that's because the robot is moving forward or backwards and we don't want any other motors moving while it's doing that so it's going to disrupt the robot so that's why I've added a weight block and that is the first yellow brick done the good news is I can actually reset the robot by hand to the starting position again and then we can just launch it uh, again so I'm actually going to use probably the touch sensor for this so I might reposition the touch sensor and basically we have a really long program that when I press the touch sensor it continues so let's try that so I've basically got the yellow brick and the blue brick coded so we can test this out And that is perfect as long as it just catches onto the brick it's fine it doesn't have to go right in that container as long as it just catches it and brings it back for now that is fine so i am just going to do the green brick now and then i might start the white brick so i've done the green brick and let's test this out that was the yellow one That was the blue one. And that was the green one. So that is all three coloured bricks done. Now we've got the difficult task of doing the white brick. Now we're going to have a go at the white. And that was perfect so I just need to get it to line up to go back to the start again and then I've just got to pull the drawer and then that's the whole obstacle course done so I think we're ready to have a run of everything so let's see how this goes And that is our obstacle course complete. So if you look closely you can see we've got three coloured bricks that are collected so that bit's complete. We also have the white brick which is just about in that zone. Uh, I've measured it and it just has to be in the wood for that zone. Um, that brown brick basically indicates that it's inside. And then finally we pulled out the drawer and inside the drawer was an EV3 ball. And that is that obstacle course complete. You can of course make your own obstacle course like this if you want to try it out. I just want to show you the code. So this is the code for the program. So as you can see, it is very, very, very long. And basically, it's not perfect because it wasn't very consistent with getting the coloured bricks inside that container. And it is very, very difficult to actually get it in perfectly in that container because you'll notice that it was catching and the requirement was just bring it back. But if there's lots of them, like the white one, bring it into a zone, that would be very, very difficult to do. Uh, so it's just a lot of testing with programming. Just, it's just trial and error when it comes to programming. All these values I had to find out myself, and this definitely took me over an hour to do. So, and it's just very simple, just taking uh, three or four bricks and then just pulling a drawer, and that took an entire hour. So, these obstacle courses are really fun if you have the time. You can actually just uh, build your robot, some competitions uh, with Lego robots. Basically, you have to design your own robot, build it, and then complete an obstacle course like this. So, that is a really fun way to use this robot with this lifting mechanism. And in the next video, I will probably break this robot and build a new.
new robot or I might continue with this one but it's, it's most likely I'm going to break this robot and build a brand new robot so I hope you're looking forward to that and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video because that is it for today's video and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.